So guys, One UI 5.1.1 is finally here. So let's go over some of the new features and important changes this update brings. So one of the best changes they've made is that now you can drag and drop photos and videos from the gallery into other applications. The way this works is that in the gallery, select the photos and videos you want to share. Then keep the finger on the screen until you see the photos separate out like this. Now you can use your other hand or your other finger to launch the app in which you want to paste or share the photos. So let's open up WhatsApp and send these photos to my other number. And there you go. So this is gonna make sharing photos and videos a lot easier. You can also use this exact same method in the Samsung file manager. So let's open this PDF in the Samsung notes app. So once again, we will long press until the file separates out, then navigate to the Samsung notes, create a new note, then let go of the finger and bam, there you go. So I think you guys are going to absolutely love this feature. Whenever you edit and make changes to a photo, like tweak its brightness, or apply a filter, now you've got the option of copying all of the changes that you make over to a new photo. So once you are done making changes, tap on these three dots and then select copy effects. Now open a photo in which you want to paste the changes that you have made to the previous photo. Tap on the pencil icon to go into the image editor, then tap on these three dots and then select paste effects. So this is going to apply all of the changes that you had made to the previous photo like the brightness and the filter onto this one. You can also paste the effect that you've copied onto multiple photos. So all you have to do is select whichever photos you want to paste the effect in and then tap on these three dots and then select paste effect. And there you go. So this feature is going to be very useful if you want to reuse the changes that you have made to a previous photo. Now, if you don't like it, the changes can be reverted very easily. So open the photo, then tap on these three dots and then select revert to original. And this will bring the photo back to its original form. All right, so now let's open an app in the pop-up view. So what we are going to do is open recents, then tap on the app icon and select pop-up view. So here they've added a couple of new features. First off, you can now switch easily between the pop-up and the split view mode. So grab the app by the handle and then drag it to the top or the bottom of the screen to activate the split view mode. And from here, select the second app that you want to run in the split view. And there you go. Now, if you want to switch back to the pop-up view, tap on the handle and then select this button and the app will go back to the pop-up view. So you see how easy it is to switch between the pop-up and the split view. Oh, and another thing that's new is now you can snap the pop-up view to the edge of the screen just like this. Did you catch that? Let me show you this again. All right, so when you've got an app open in the pop-up view, grab it by the handle and bring it to the edge of the screen to snap it to the edge. And there you go. Now the app is still running, it's just minimized. And as you can see, you can have multiple apps snapped to the edge of the screen and tapping on them will bring them back up. So this feature is awesome. I absolutely love it. Another small but useful cosmetic change is that the Recents panel properly displays apps that are running in the pop-up view. And if you haven't noticed on One UI 5.1, it sort of looks glitchy. So this is a small but a useful cosmetic change. Private Share is now a part of Quick Share. So in the gallery, whenever you share photos and videos using QuickShare, you now have the option to share them privately via private share. So the toggle for private share is right here. And private share is a privacy focused feature which encrypts your files and also allows you to set an expiry date. And whenever you share photos and videos using private share, the recipient will not be able to number one, take screenshots or do screen recordings. They will also not be able to save or forward the photos and videos. And the content will expire after the expiry date. So private share is an awesome and a super useful feature. Now unfortunately one downside of private share is that the recipient phone must be a Samsung like how I have demonstrated on the Note 20 Ultra. 
Now, if you use modes and routines, which you can find by going into the settings and then modes and routines. So if you use these, now you've got the option to switch the modes straight from the lock screen. So right now I've got the sleep mode turned on. Now if we go to the lock screen, we will be able to change the mode by tapping over here. So there you go. And if you are wondering on One UI 5.1, you could not do this. Hmm, you know what? I was expecting you could change it without unlocking the phone. But yeah, you have to unlock the phone and then only you'll be able to change it. They've also updated the watermark feature of the camera. So let's go into the camera settings and then watermark. So here, now you've got the option to separately toggle date and time. On One UI 5.1, the date and time were clubbed together. Additionally, you can also change the format of the date and time. It also looks like they've enhanced the memory management in the device care. Let's take a look. So we are gonna go into the settings and then battery and device care and memory. So it looks like it now shows a complete list of apps that are using the memory, aka the RAM. On One UI 5.1, it only shows a handful of apps. So not a huge change, but yeah, I like it. Now, the next set of changes are related to the flex mode, which is a feature that is exclusive to the Samsung foldables. So what is flex mode you may ask? Well, you might have noticed that when you fold the phone halfway through, you get some additional controls at the bottom of the screen to control whatever you see on the top part. So this is what Samsung calls flex mode. And this feature is super useful for video calls. Anywho, they have made some improvements to the flex mode. So now more apps are compatible with the flex mode. And secondly, they seem to have improved the media controls. So here we have got the YouTube app running. So now let's fold the phone halfway through and tap this button to activate the flex mode. So now you've got the buttons to skip 10 seconds forward or backwards. And one more thing that's new is now you can customize the buttons on the flex mode toolbar by just dragging and dropping them like this. That is awesome. So yeah, this was a quick rundown of the important changes the One UI 5.1.1 update brings. Now, if you look at the change log, obviously there are more changes listed here. But I think I have covered all of the crucial and the important changes this update brings. And I don't really think the S23 Ultra is gonna get this update. I think this is exclusive to the Samsung foldables. But anyways, if you enjoy watching these kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you have enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for more videos and this is Tech Guy Charlie, signing off.